Hello everyone, my name is Ikenna from Smiling Sun. Everything solar installation, everything in Vata installation, everything going green. How you guys doing today? Great! <laughs> I want to show you guys today a very good way you can test the overall health of the battery. Okay, so if you want to test if your battery is fully charged, if your battery is uh, fairly charged, if your battery is discharged, if your battery is over discharged, now you should be very worried. <laughs> so if you want to test your tubular battery and your flooded lead acid battery and you want to find out the true state of the battery, okay so you're worried about the health of the battery okay and sometimes maybe your charge controller is telling you that it's fully charged and you're not sure it's charged it's discharging and you're having all kinds of situations with your battery and you want to test to find out the true state of the battery so i'll teach you guys exactly how you can do that but if you want to find out how to test your tubular battery or your flooded lead acid battery you definitely have to stick around because i'll be right back <laughs> Welcome back guys, how you doing? It's Tilly Kenna from Smiling Sun. Everything solar installation, everything in Vata installation, everything going green. I'm about to show you a very good way you can test your tubular battery and your flooded lead acid battery to find out the true state of the battery. So if you want to find out if the battery is fully charged or if the battery is fairly charged, if the battery is discharged or over discharged, or if you want to find out some very troubling signs on the cell i'll teach you guys exactly how you will do that so a very good way you can test your tubular battery and your flooded lead acid battery is by testing the sg of the battery the specific gravity of the battery so essentially the liquid you have on the inside of the cells of the battery is actually a sulfuric acid uh, mixed with distilled water all right, so the distilled water is like 65% and the sulfuric acid is 35%. So when both are mixed, uh, you have what you call electrolyte, all right? So electrolyte in itself is a very good conductor of electricity, all right? So that's why you have it inside the cells of the battery. It works very well. Now you have specific gravity. So when this acid, uh, the sulfuric acid has been diluted with the distilled water. All right, so this you would uh, be able to derive the specific gravity of the battery. All right, so we'll be able to test the SG of the battery to find out the true health of this battery. So if you're worried and you wanna find out what exactly is going on in your battery, all right, so, but you can only do this on your tubular battery and your flooded lead acid battery. Other batteries like your gel, AGM, lithium battery, they are all sealed batteries, all right? So you don't have access to them. You can only have access to your tubular and your flooded lead acid battery. So this test can only be done on these two types of battery. All right, so okay, let's so get into it. So to be able to do this test, there are a couple of things you're going to need. Oh, you're definitely going to need uh, a pair of gloves, all right? You would need a hydrometer, all right? So this is called hydrometer. So uh, the hydrometer is like the most important tool in this test, all right? Because it's the hydrometer that will tell you the specific gravity of this battery. You're going to need glasses to protect your eyes from the sulfuric acid. But since I'm already wearing glasses, I think this can do the justice, all right? So the tubular battery and your flooded lead acid battery, uh, pretty much like other batteries, they all have cells. So if it's a 12 volt battery, it should have six cells, all right? So, but this particular battery is a six volts battery and it has three cells, all right? It's a six volts, 550 amps battery. So it has three cells, as you can see, that is this particular red caps that you can see. So we'll do a test on each of these cells to determine the state of the battery at the moment, which is what you need to do if you want to find out the true state of your battery. So let's get to it, all right? So first of all, you want to pretty much um, wear your hand gloves, all right? So it's important that you wear your hand gloves so that you protect yourself from um, the acid. Very important.
All right, so I have my hand gloves on, so let's get to it. All right, so if you're regular on this channel or if this is your first time, kindly subscribe, all right? We can use all the support that we can get, all right? We thank you so very much as you continue to support us and encourage us as we go ahead to get you more and more interesting videos. All right, thank you so much. Don't forget to comment, don't forget to like, and don't forget to share, all right? We can use all that support. All right, so we're about to run an SG test on this battery to determine the true health of the battery, okay? Uh, the state of the battery, if it's truly charged, overcharged, and all of that. So we're gonna use a hydrometer to run this test and the hydrometer will tell us the state of the battery at the moment, okay? All right, so it's important to note that you have some markings inside of the hydrometer tube, okay? So you have a green mark, all right? And right after the green mark, you have a white mark. And after the white mark, you have a red mark. The green mark says the battery is good. The white mark says the battery is fair. The red mark says the battery is discharged, okay? So you might need to charge the battery again. But it gets a little bit more complicated than that, okay? So inside of uh, the same markings on the inside of the hydrometer you have numbers that are written on it okay so um these numbers are the numbers of the specific gravity so for this battery the specific gravity for this battery is uh 1.2550 okay so but it goes as much as 1.26 1.27 and to 300 okay so uh they are all written inside of those markings that you can see so you'll see the lines on them and you see all the numbers okay so it's important for you before you run this test to find out what the specific gravity of the battery that you're about to test um, different manufacturers of these batteries put different specific gravities for the battery so the dilution rates are quite different okay sometimes it could be on on the white and you're seeing that the white is saying fair but the battery is actually fully charged so before you run the test you need to find out uh, the specific gravity of the battery or what is specified by the manufacturers okay so you test it by the numbers that you see so you have 1 1.2, 1.250, 1.220, 1.26, 1.27, 1.3 okay these readings will be able to tell you the state of the battery if the battery is fully charged if it is fairly charged if it is uh, discharged or over discharged all right so let's run this test so what you essentially do is that you put the tip of the hydrometer into one of the cells all right so you give a gentle squeeze to the rubber ball so what's going to happen once you release the ball is that the the electrolyte will bubble up the tube, all right? And it will settle on one of the markings. So it could settle on the green, it could settle on the red, all right? So right now it's settled on the green, all right? So as you can see, it's settled on the green, all right? So um, this tells you that the battery is good, it's fully charged. So I can see the markings of, so it's right about that same range of 1.2550 to one point. To six. All right, so what you do again to be able to, so what you do at this point is you give the rubber ball a squeeze again and let it go, then the whole electrolyte drains right back into the battery. Okay, so if you wanna run the test again, you do the same thing. You give the rubber ball a little squeeze, let it go, then the water bubbles or the electrolyte bubbles into the tube all right so that's essentially what you will do so right now we're we're having the uh, electrolyte settled at the green so let's go ahead and um, run a test on the second cell so always remember you put the tip of the hydrometer into the second cell then you give a gentle squeeze to the rubber ball and the electrolyte bubbles up into the tube and settles right now it settled at the green which pretty much tells me that the battery is fully charged all right so i can see the read the markings all right and i can see that it's at 1.2550 all right so it's slightly above the green to the white and for the specific gravity of this battery at 1.2550 it's pretty okay and the battery is fully charged so let's go ahead and test the final cell, all right? So always remember what you do is you put the tip of the hydrometer into the cell, 
give a gentle squeeze to the rubber ball and up bubbles the electrolyte into the tube all right and it's definitely going to settle and of course they are all settling in the same place and which pretty much tells me that all the cells are good and which pretty much tells me that all the cells are aligned at the same specific gravity all right so because they are all settling at the same place which is the green and a little bit of um to the white which from the um specific gravity which has been set for this particular uh tubular battery um it's very okay for it all right so if you want to let it drain give a squeeze again to the rubber ball and it all drains right back so anytime you want to test the health of the battery or the true state of the battery you get yourself a hydrometer it's pretty much a very inexpensive um, tool that you can get uh, to test these batteries all right it tells you exactly what is going on um, the true specific gravity of the battery all right all right guys so that's the very much we can take today thank you so much for being here all right my name is tilly kenna from smiling sun everything solar installation everything inverter installation everything going green don't forget to subscribe we appreciate all your support don't forget to comment to like appreciate you all right <laughs> all right see you guys in the next video